In this video from Reports Your Way, we are going to show how to create a multi-sheet detail report using Jet Dynamic Worksheets. An example might be a series of departmental reports whereby each department's worksheet is dynamically generated by Jet. In our example, we want a report that provides a worksheet for each vendor that details the purchases during a specified period. On our options page, let's give the end user the opportunity to change the filter values for a start date, the number of months in the report, the country, and the vendor. On the details page, our report is going to list the document number, the posting date, the item number and the item description, the quantity, and the cost. Note that in the filters section, we've calculated the end of the period by using Excel's EO month or end of month function. It's pointing to our start date and the number of months for this report to determine the last date in the period. We create the date range for the report by using NP date filter. We dynamically generate a page using NL sheets and filter by the values selected. This will generate the vendor number to be used as the filter for the details in that page. We need to keep in mind that not all vendors are selling us items. Some might be selling us services. Information in the vendor table includes both, while the value entry table contains data related only to item purchases. In this example, we only want to see item purchases, so we're going to draw our vendor list from the value entry table. From there, we can also create the report title for the vendor by concatenating pieces of text with ampersands. Notice that we are able to add a JET function to extract the vendor name too. Our date title is also using ampersands and Excel's text function to join pieces of text together. For the report details, it's a straightforward line of JET functions to pull out the records that match the filters. We've used an NL with the filters to open the table and NF functions to pull out the details for each filtered record. When we run the report, we get a separate worksheet for each vendor from whom we have purchased items during the specified time period. And each worksheet lists all such transactions from that specific vendor. That's it for creating our detail report. Please see our next video on creating a summary report from a multi-sheet detailed report. Thank you for watching.